Salut tout le monde, c'est Aoki. Aujourd'hui, petite vidéo un peu différente euh, des vidéos habituelles sur des jeux un peu de Battle Royale, tout ça. Aujourd'hui, on est plutôt sur un jeu euh, un peu what the fuck, franchement. Un jeu qui fait réfléchir, un jeu où il faut faire en sorte de ne pas vous faire manipuler par euh, bah, le jeu, qui en réalité va essayer de vous manipuler euh, derrière toutes ses apparences. Et c'est un jeu où vous allez faire des choix, et en fonction de vos choix, vous allez avancer d'une certaine manière dans dans, dans l'histoire et en gros euh, j'avais déjà joué il y a très longtemps mais euh, j'avais envie de, de rejouer un peu euh, c'est un peu ambiance backroom si, si, si ça vous parle donc c'est vraiment en fait euh, un, un lieu de travail euh, qui se réplique à, à l'infini et en fait on est un employé qui se réveille dans ce lieu de travail et il euh, n'y a plus personne et le but c'est de sortir et il y a une voix qui va nous parler qui va dire bah voilà euh, en gros je suis ton ami si tu veux sortir euh, écoute moi fais ci fais ça Sauf que tant en temps elle va nous dire la vérité, tant en temps elle va nous mentir Et le truc en fait, la réalité c'est que euh, son but c'est qu'on ne sorte jamais Et nous notre but c'est de la euh, manipuler pour qu'on qu puisse sortir Sans forcément qu'elle nous mette trop de bâtons dans les roues Et voilà, enfin c'est un peu what the fuck et, euh, et bah on va découvrir ça ensemble Let's go Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building Where he was employee number 427 Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The cell de memo. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. <coughs> he entered the door on his left. Ah, voilà. Donc là, première situation. On est face à deux portes. Et l'IA nous dit de prendre celle de gauche. De, de, de sa voix la plus, la plus calme. Et clairement, c'est là que euh, le, le mindfuck commence. Ça se trouve, il a déjà commencé. Je me suis déjà fait entuber. Mais euh, la question, c'est qu'est-ce que je fais Est-ce que je prends vraiment celle de gauche ou pas je pense que pour commencer, on va d'abord suivre ce que dit l'IA pour voir ce que ça fait. Et on arrive donc dans la fameuse salle. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
Parce que c'est pareil, il nous demande de d'aller dans le bureau du boss. <coughs> on, on va suivre ses instructions au début pour... Euh, Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Alors là, il nous dit clairement de nous casser, mais... There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Donc c'est pareil. In that case, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Il nous demande de monter pour aller au bureau de son chef. Bon. C'est le début. On va écouter ce qu'il dit pour voir. Mais en soi, je pourrais aussi descendre. Là, bien évidemment, alors c'est où c'est C'est la salle de bain, ça, ok, d'accord, très bien. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him, what he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons <coughs> on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Voilà, donc ce qu'il faut aussi préciser, ce que je voulais dire, c'est que euh, en fait, à chaque fois, en fonction de notre choix, il y a une fin différente, grosso modo. <coughs> la particularité, c'est qu'elles se ressemblent tous. C'est-à-dire qu'on va retourner, en fait, dans le bureau. Et la vraie fin, donc là, si on réussit le jeu, c'est de réussir à trouver la vraie sortie. Et je crois qu'il n'y a qu'une possibilité, ou peut-être deux. Stanley walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Donc là c'est pareil, on voit sortie, Mind Control Facility, qu'est-ce qu'on fait Bon, c'est le début, on va, on, va, on, va, euh, on va faire les naïfs. The lights were in an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing.
This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <coughs> No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. <laughs> And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. <laughs> Donc là, il veut qu'on mette off, du coup, j'imagine. and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Donc, en fait, c'était euh, une fin un peu fake. Et la vérité, c'est qu'on se retrouve dans le bureau. Que l'heure n'a pas changé. Et qu'on a toujours l'air d'un con. Donc, en fait, c'était pas la vraie fin, entre guillemets. All of his co-workers were gone. 
What could it mean? Et c'est parti. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Donc là, je vais refaire toutes les mêmes choses. Et bien sûr, je vais le passer pour vous éviter de tout subir. Sauf qu'à la fin, je vais appuyer sur le bouton on et pas off. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley, wa Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator <laughs> talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Alfoiré. The fuck. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Full power over another human life, for he would dismantle the control. Il parle tout le temps. Bon, on va appuyer sur la commande on. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. No, it's du bullshit. It's du bullshit. He will nous contrôler. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. No, it's du bullshit. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what pressure? Il veut nous faire appuyer sur off. Il met all in cette pression. Talk about you, about me. Et il a pas de parler pour. On va appuyer sur on, les gars. On peut pas. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. On peut pas. Je peux pas rappeler sur on. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Je vais attendre un peu quand même. I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything. Ce que je vais faire les gars, c'est que j'appuie sur rien du tout. Away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it. Je vais attendre la fin du compte à rebours. But I'm sure whatever I come up with. C'est peut-être du du bluff pour qu'il me fasse faire une action que j'ai pas envie de faire. Goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Regardez. These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on the trees. Il veut me faire craquer. Il vient de rajouter du temps. C'est mort. Je puerai pas. Il veut que j'appuie sur off, mais je le ferai pas. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of destroying the world? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of destroying the world? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of destroying the world? Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless, to see you made humble. 
This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? C'est du bluff. Il va rien se passer. Oh, don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Tout ça, c'est du bluff. I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Ok, 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 ok. Ah, retour point de départ. <coughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. On va faire ça de manière logique. Oh. <laughs> ok, nouveau contenu. Oh, Comme new par hasard. Content? What does that mean? New content. the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra <coughs> Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Bien évidemment, vous l'aurez compris, à chaque fois, si on retourne dans la salle du début, c'est qu'on a perdu. Il veut nous faire sauter comme une... <rire> voilà, il s'est rien passé. C'est pour me prouver à quel point je suis... Euh, malléable. Is... Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. 
Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you've <laughs> got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's trophies, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test trophy, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Retour, elle la casait pas, on n'est pas vraiment puisque. Bah, ça a changé quand même. Hein. D'ailleurs, notre bureau est toujours là, oui, ok, mais la sortie, c'est plus la même. Hein. Waouh! Stanley! Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Allez, on va l'écouter. On n'est pas à la première. Euh... <rire> Please. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. <laughs> I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap PlayStation port? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Si on veut sortir des sentiers battus, c'est possible Non. <rire> c'est quoi ça And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? 
every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. All they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the PlayStation, boom, done. And they couldn't even do that. Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. Okay, Chef. a simpler time, Stanley, but I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh no, oh god no, Stanley. It's a collection of reviews from Pressurized Gas, the extremely popular online storefront for computer games. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious <laughs> work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. <laughs> a skip button? Well, well, yes. 
Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my <coughs> do anything for the customer. <coughs> yes, a skip button we shall have. Yes, and here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then oh, that's, that's what they're going to get. Je me dis faut pas appuyer, mais bon. waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices or what have you. And therefore, by becoming it is, mais je crois que je so on and so forth, until inevitable. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Est-ce que l'heure change pour la pluie? Okay, welcome back, Sammy. Ouais. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I don't feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort, or a window, or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere Allez, farther. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe. I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. Why was it so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. I have no idea who they are. What would it ever really matter? But I... oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week or well, two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. 
I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every... Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe. Il parle plus. Il parle plus, mais je suis coincé, mine de rien. Non, là, j'ai tombé par terre. Il a pas de putain de porte, moi, je fais comment, moi They didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, Je peux plus sur le bouton. Ah si. Alors après, il y a la tactique, on peut attendre pour voir ce que ça fait si j'appuie sur rien et que j'attends immobile. The end is never the end, 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 Rien à changer. Oh. Peut-être pouvoir s'échapper si à un moment ça commence à se péter. C'est fou ça.
Ah, la dernière fois que j'avais joué, j'étais tombé sur des, des univers et des scénarios. Euh... J'ai fait une partie de Rocket League, tout ça, je me rappelle. Et j'ai l'impression qu'à chaque fois qu'on joue, il y a des choses très différentes. C'est vraiment l'univers le... est très, très, très euh... Euh... immense, quoi. Il est immense, il est très, très grand. Mais c'est ça le bordel, on va finir par en sortir ou... Parce que je vois vraiment rien, mais je vois que ça fait de porte. Des bruits badants, c'est tout. On peut enfin sortir. <rire> Nous revoici au départ. Donc là, la synthèse, c'est que je vais faire ce qu'on a fait au début, tout le chemin du début. Je ne vais pas rentrer dans la catégorie New Content. Je vais faire exactement le même chemin du début. Première avant de gauche, aller dans le bureau du boss. Et avant d'aller dans la contrôle de Mind Facilité, la, la salle de contrôle de l'esprit, là, je vais prendre la... la à gauche, où c'est marqué Escape, sortie. Stanley walk straight ahead through the large door that non, red mind là on va prendre Escape. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. <rire> Il dit ça pour nous faire bader, et même si c'est vrai, on va le tenter. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Ah, là, il veut vraiment qu'on revienne, donc c'est vraiment qu'il faut continuer d'avancer. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. 
Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh, ça c'est le, le truc de départ, first choice, c'est le premier choix avec les deux portes. Si on obéit, on va à gauche. Si on désobéit, on va à droite. La fin relaxante. commencer le jeu pendant que nous avions une fin qui se finissait vraiment que lorsque le joueur recommençait depuis le menu échappe mais avant beaucoup de joueurs ont compris que c'est ce qu'il devait faire ça ce qui s'est arrivé frustrant pour tout le monde il n'y avait pas ça avant si ah, je sais pas Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Turn off your PlayStation. There's no other way to beat this game. 
As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let... Back to the beginning. Ok, donc cette fois-ci, on va aller face aux deux portes et on va désobéir. On va prendre celle de droite. Ok, nous voilà. Petit café. Très chaud. Et c'est parti, on va à droite. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Hmm. You want me to take the door on the Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Ne sautez pas du l'évaluateur euh, enfin, du truc euh, du monde charge, je sais pas on peut appeler ça, lorsqu'il est en mouvement. Et bien justement, c'est ce qu'on va faire, on va sauter. Look Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. On va prendre la porte bleue. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the <laughs> red door. On va prendre la porte bleue. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked <laughs> through the red door. Ok, chef, j'ai compris. Ah non, il y a une porte bleue là. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. 